Yeah, Jedediah, just out here trying to get it, man. By any means necessary, you feel me? Yeah, let's go. 24 7 hard work and dedication. Yo, what's good, y'all? My name is Jedediah, and this is the Jedediah Podcast. Today, we have a special guest in the building. Yeah, yeah. The one and only. Dope man. Yes, sir. What's going AKA on? AKA the, the body yo guy. You feel me? What's good, man? How you feeling? I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. How you doing, bro? Good, man. I'm good. Great to have you, man. Like like I was telling you, the first time I uh, uh we met was at the uh the Day of Unity event, uh where you before they had like a whole bunch of uh, uh uh you know uh Houston artists. Right. Um yeah, man. Uh so you know, I've been trying to get this interview for a little minute, man. Great to finally have you on. Uh to be here, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. What what have you been up to lately? <clears throat> hey, man, just same old hustle, man, recording, you feel me, um, getting ready to travel, gearing up for, uh, we just dropped a new single, mm-hmm. gearing up to start for South By, you feel me, and just okay. getting everything in motion right now. Um, I feel like this is the first year that everything's real active since mm-hmm. the COVID, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, we just really been putting it in motion, bro, getting the video shot, getting the, the, all the records mixed, getting the collaborations done, you know what I mean? Just getting to it, bro, just trying to uh, create every day. Yeah, staying busy. Yep. Yeah, man, I saw you uh, uh, last year. At the, uh, I think towards the end of last year, uh, at the uh, the Rolling Loud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, how was that? Man, that was crazy. That was my first time in New York. It was mm. wild, bro. I yeah. mean, it was dope. We had all my brothers out there with me, so it was yeah. just a crazy experience all together. But um, Rolling Loud was crazy, bro. Like it's just different. You just got to be there. I, you know, mm. I wish I could explain it, but yeah, I know. heard like compared to Texas, it's, it's like it's fast. Oh, bro, New York is crazy, bro. <laughs> it's different. They just all in all, like even space when it comes to like, we like each other. We give each other space out here in New York. Mm-hmm. It's like they real congested and shit. I, I couldn't live out there. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's why they were hit so hard during the pandemic because they were so close together. Yeah, bro, they ride the subways all day. You yeah. feel me? They <clears throat> they just close. They breathing down each other's neck basically. Yeah. You know? Did, did you like, ride the subway? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we was on there. We was on the subway like every day, bro. You uh-huh. gotta, you got to really if you want to move around out there uh, because. Okay. Uh, Uber's outrageous, and you ain't really going to be moving in that traffic. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, it was tight, though. I'm with New York. Yeah. Can you see yourself ever moving out there, or you, you good? <laughs> I feel like I can go out there for like a month, maybe, and yeah. record. I got some homies from out there. My boy Cream the Villain, he, I met him in L.A., but he's from Queens, though. So, okay. Um, yeah, shout out Rob Markman. You feel me? Like, that's the homie from out there. Um, But, nah, that ain't mm-hmm. my style. Like, too crap, yeah. though. I feel like I'll be getting shit everywhere I go. Yeah. Know? Yeah, nah, I got you. Yeah, man. Uh, do do you mess with like any of the the uh, like the music the, the music scene down there? I ain't gonna lie, I'm not too familiar. Like I like I said, Rob Markman. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really tapped in as far as locally in New York as much okay. as I am in L. A. But I would like to though. I would that somewhere because I feel like my style would fit more of a New York base than mm. it would L. A. Yeah, yeah, you know? I can see that. Yeah, yeah listening sure. to your music. Yeah, for sure. Well, you, you got a lot of soul in your music too, man. Like right, I was right. jamming that uh, uh, that Brown Soul. Right. That li- I like that life goes on, man. Oh yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that was the day after my boy Rico passed. I had made uh, that record. You feel me? But uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, I just it was influenced by Pac. You know what I mean? Pac after life goes on. So yeah, yeah, yeah no, nah, for sure, man, for sure. Um, okay, and like. You know, being a a, a, a Mexican American, uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying, like, what's your, what's your, what are your thoughts on like the current state of uh, Mexican hip hop in in Texas? I think it's dope. <clears throat> I think that um, we making a lot of noise as far like when I came in, it wasn't really this strong at all. You right. feel me? Like it was very, very few Mexican Americans really doing it. You know, you had like GT, you had mm-hmm. like you know, but. GT's also a few generations above me, two generations above me at least. Yeah. So I really felt like I was like kind of dolo in a sense. Um, now it's getting stronger. You got the pesos and you got mm-hmm. like the D babies, and it's just it's just beautiful seeing it all brick. You feel me? Like yep. all coming together. Um, I think it's strong. I think that like I think Sango. Uh, I don't even know who Sango is. He's a producer. He go crazy. Um, I don't know. I think he's from the DMV area. Uh, don't quote me on that, but. He like like shout out like the Mexicans out of Texas. They making like crazy stuff right now, and yeah. that was dope for him to put that out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whether it be whoever it was, it's just I'm just happy that the recognition is coming. You know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah. Give I think like give it another give them, give us another year or two, man. We gonna we gonna be hitting that that oh, mainstream. Oh, it's gonna be heavy, bro. Level for sure. It's gonna be heavy, bro. Yeah. yeah. So I'm proud of it. I'm definitely proud of the progression because, like I said, it really wasn't much to build off of. You know, in a sense, like we had like the SPMs and the Bings, but then like you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they, baby they bash. Yeah, you feel me? Baby bash did his thing. Um, like I say, even GT, I feel like GT don't get enough credit for what he's oh, done. Oh yeah, 
He's, yeah. He was the one, like, for me, you know, I, I felt like he was putting on, like, heavy. You mm-hmm. feel me? I remember yeah. um, Batteries Not Included, too. Like, I remember getting that city at the car show. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, um, and then that we tapped in. He's one of the first people to ever really show me love. Really? Like, straight up. Yeah, I was, like, hey. 17. So, shout out GT. Here you guys go. ever did any work together? Man, we got something on the next project. Let's we, go. Man, me and GT got a bunch of stuff. Man, we really should have a tape by now, but you know you know yeah. how it go. But, nah, we got one on the next project, though. Go crazy. Uh, yeah. Produced by my boy, Jay Cardenas. So, yeah, yeah, yeah J, uh, GT's definitely going down as one of the OGs, like for the, the Mexican hip hop in, yeah, in, in in Texas, bro. For sure, yeah. I mean, I, and I like what he's doing. Like he's he's got his own little team going. La, La Machina, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he's got a few artists. Uh, I like I like uh, I like them all, man. Coast, uh, right. Buns. Uh, I don't Shout know if you heard Buns. Of Buns the homie. Buns the homie, man. <laughs> but Buns been on me since I was seventeen. I'm telling you, that's the homie, homie. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, I be seeing Buns at, at the shows, man. He be getting turned, man. Too oh, turned. He be turned, dog. <laughs> Buns a different kind of animal. I fuck with Buns, though, man. Uh, the long way, for real. I don't know if you heard of Crystal Popping. Like, she's yeah, rocking with him, too. Yeah, that's the homie, man. Hey. She going up, bro. I'm Same yeah. with her. Like, watching her go up. Um, Where is she from, by the way? She's from El Paso. Okay, okay. Shout out El Paso. I've never been out there, but I know that it's a lot of us out there, and there's a lot of us out there. So, mm-hmm. she definitely made a wave, and I think her and GT teaming up was the right thing for her. And mm-hmm. to watch her catapult to the next level, man, is just beautiful to watch. Yeah, man. You yeah, me? man. Well, I think we got one, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got, you don't see the Yeah. Get it. Yeah. You know? Shout out Crystal, man. Shout out Crystal popping GT. Um, who, who who are like who else are some of your favorites like when it comes to the the you know the, the Mexican hip hop scene down here? I know you mentioned D Baby, who's, who's who's really been taking off, mm-hmm. uh, you know, last year and this year. Um, Brick, who, who else? Who else you you um, rocking with? I like shout out a uh, shout out Cash Out Ace, man. Mm-hmm. We, I tapped in with him. Uh, my boy Nine K Tay, he from the southeast. He go crazy, man. Nine K Tay, yeah, he go crazy. Um, you know, salute to Bo Bundy for doing what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Um, who else is uh? It's a lot, man. It's probably yeah, too it's many a lot to name. Dude. You feel yeah. me? Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's so many. Latinos in the in the mix right now that you know you you could be missing some or not, but everybody doing their thing. Salute to them. You mm-hmm. feel me? Because it's a force at this point. Even if they don't want to admit it or they to look at it like it's me, me, me. It's a force, and they gonna come down here and look at us all the same. Yeah, you feel me? So you gotta you gotta be proud of that for sure. Now for sure, uh, you, you once said in an interview, if I'm not mistaken, like like Hispanics are are often overlooked when it comes to hip hop. Um, do do you still believe that to be true? And and if so, like, what do you, what do you think that is? I think at um, at one point, yeah, probably at the point I said it. Um, mm-hmm. In a sense, like to be to be accepted in something that we were a part of for so long, mm-hmm. like it's it's a crazy idea to think of, right? Like, why are we fighting so hard to be accepted in something that we're so uh, we're vast we're majority we're a big major part of it. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, I won't say majority, but we are a huge part from the mm-hmm. DJs to the graffiti artists to the b boys because hip hop just isn't rap. That's what people get fucked up. Like, hip hop is not rap and art. Hip hop is. The whole art, you feel me? The okay. The graffiti, the breakdancing, yeah. uh, the style. You are, I am hip hop. I'm hip hop because I'm hip hop, not because I rap. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, yeah, bro, I just feel like at, we, we're we now fighting to be looked at as equal, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and ain't nothing wrong with that, man, because hip hop's a beautiful thing. So, and you know, I think, it, I think. The black creatives, you know, they did, they did, they they started a lot of shit. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Like yeah. they did, but we grew up in it as well. So it's not like we just trying to be like anybody else. We just we grew up like this. Mm-hmm. So this is what we love. You feel me? For but, sure. Yeah, I feel like it's getting better though. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. Like I said, like I said, give it like another year or two, man. You're gonna start seeing a lot of uh, uh, Mexican faces up there. You know what I'm saying? Latinos, are, Latinos are the hottest shit right now. I mean, mm-hmm. like from across the board, reggaeton, like anything like that. We are the biggest thing yeah. right now bro you know yeah. it's it's like tight to be la- latino right now you mm-hmm. feel me? yeah yeah big fan of big facts um so i mean let's let's talk about you man like what if what have you been up to lately i know you say you you uh you got a, a project coming soon a, pr- a performance uh let's talk about the the, the new project mm-hmm. right um the body of god volume two okay. so it's like uh off of my i dropped a tape in like 2016 mm-hmm. and it was body of god volume one uh really it was just kind of like music we had and we like man let's put it out you feel me and it caught like people were really related to it and, and mm-hmm. people still to this day ask about that tape. So basically it's just like, man, I, I recorded so much. I got so much music, like so much music, bro. Mm-hmm. It's a headache that it's like, let's put it together. And I want to display some of the artists I've been working with. Um, 
you know, collaborative effort. Shout out my boy Khan from LA. Did a lot of shit with Dre. He's mm -hmm. just he a goat man. He a producer or something. Yeah, he a rapper. He okay. crazy. Okay. Um, Khan. My boy Jalen Santoy. Uh, who else on there? Emilio Rojas. I don't know if you're familiar with him. He go crazy. He a spitter. Mm -hmm. GT Propane. Just a lot of people, man. Shout out my boy Grip from Atlanta. He signed to Shady. So a lot of people that I've been working with. Yeah. And um, you know, we got a body of work. Yeah, I like that one song you did with Propane like a couple of years ago. Which one was it? Jodeci? Yeah, the Jodeci. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah. That's a classic. Like a hood. black and white uh Video. the visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was lit. Appreciate it. Yeah, I got bro. some more some more shit coming. Yeah, man. Pro's like my that's the that's that's the that's like a brother to me, you feel me? That's the mm -hmm. homie homie. So yeah, we got we should have a tape. We're gonna get his ass in the studio man, for that. That would though. be cold. Yeah, man. Yeah, he, I know he's he's got something. He in the on works. his shit though, you feel me? Yeah, he he always you know he doing what he gotta do. Yeah, I was uh I have been on his uh that it ain't safe outside that, mm -hmm. that shit he dropped oh, yeah, last bro. year. Yeah, oh, nigga. Pro oh. one of the goats, bro. I mean, when it comes to southern lyricists, like yeah. Pro's one of the goats. I put him up there with the crits and you know what I mean, folks like that. And all the OGs fuck with him, like the the Houston rap icons, like he, they fuck with him. Yeah, he embodies the sound. You know what I mean? He's yeah. a real Harm Clark H Town dude, so he mm -hmm. embodies the whole sound and he's true to it. You feel me? Like he's he really loves his H Town shit. Like yeah. he really loves like little Kiki. Like he's still a fan yeah. of them, which is dope because I feel like a lot of artists they get a little popping and they they forget how to be a fan. I'm always I'm a fan first. That's what got me here you know what i mean yeah that's what inspired me as being a fan yeah right 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 um the 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 rodeo is is i think it's uh is it, is it at the end of this month or or next month oh, man i couldn't tell you right i know it's like right around the corner have you have you ever been i never been to like the concerts but i've been to the rodeo like cook-offs and shit like okay that. Yeah, yeah 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 i know they got a lot of uh uh you know ogs performing out, out there this this year uh yeah, that's big that's yeah. huge yeah I'm, lo I'm looking forward to it man i'm looking forward to it um so, what are some of your goals for for twenty twenty two? Man, my goals consist of like, honestly, just consistency, um, mm -hmm. more visuals. You know what I mean? Digging deeper into myself, staying healthy. You feel me? That's one of my main things. Is just really being healthy, fixing my body, my mind, educating myself. You know what I mean? Um, it's not really too much based off like outside validation. My my goals aren't really based on what the you know what I mean, what the world can give me. It's more based on what can I give to myself. You feel me? Okay. But um nah, I just, you know, I wanna run it up. But I wanna I wanna do it in a, in our way and I wanna you know what I mean, I wanna shit, drop classics, I wanna collaborate with bigger artists, I wanna um doper producers, I wanna move around, I wanna shit hit overseas. I'm trying to tour overseas, you feel me? Like Yeah. No, I see you be moving around a lot. I think yeah. you were just in Atlanta. Um, and yeah, man. So you, so you want to go overseas? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like a goal. Oh, like man. I just, I want to take my mom's overseas and while I tour, you feel me? That's something I want to do. That's live. Hell yeah. Um, do you feel like it's like somebody once told me like it's it's more harder for like uh like, like you know Houston is not really like a great place for rappers you know mm -hmm. to make it on that mainstream level. Do, right. do you agree with that? I think used to, but now you got the internet, bro. So, yeah. I mean, the internet's so powerful. Like, it wasn't even as powerful when we came in. Like, when I first came in, we were still selling CDs and giving out CDs. And, give, you know what I mean? We was really hand-to-hand -hand hustling. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's why my core fan base is so strong. Like, a lot of people can get on the internet and pop off, but are they really your fan fans forever? Or right. are they just fucking with you right now while you hot? Yeah. And you got to know the difference, you feel me? Because I've been hot. You know what I mean? I've been hot and not, hot and not. That I've, I've been through, but what's always helped me out with my foundation. But... I will say this, Houston does not have an industry the way that like a New York or LA does. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Obviously, we don't have the industry here like I can go here of uh, a few artists in LA like uh there's a dude named like Suede and uh Peso, right? Mm -hmm. Shout out my boy Cypress and Dunos, they put me on. But like I went to LA and I heard their name and then I leave, come back to Houston, I go back. By the time I came back, they blowed up. They already, they blew up. They up. You feel mm. me? Like, so the power of that is crazy in L.A. You think that's, like, due to location? I feel like it is, bro. And yeah. I feel like outlets, they got so many outlets. They got so You can go to No Jumper. You can go walk up to No Jumper. You feel mm. me? You can go walk up to whatever label. Uh, you feel me? Like, it's wild. It's just a different industry. But... Now there really is no excuses because, like I said, we had an internet. Internet. And, yeah, bro. You can reach anybody through the internet. You feel mm -hmm. me? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, and that, that's, that's changed. You know, it used to be like, it. you know, it depended on where you were from. Mm -hmm. I know, like, uh, you know, even took, like, I know it was just the the the, the West Coast and the, and the East Coast, you know, that were really, like, you know, right, hip-hop. Right, right. Hip you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. 
And then the, the later the uh, the South came in. Yeah, like we weren't Atlanta. accepted. Yeah, country rap tunes and all that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. what Pimp C was saying. Like they didn't they didn't fuck with us. You yeah, know? I still remember that. Uh, well, well, I wasn't around during the time, but I, I remember watching a, a a clip of Andre three thousand. Like he was like, you know, like, South got something to say. Yeah, the yeah, South got yeah. something to say. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, straight man. up, straight up, we did. I mean, and we're, we're proving it. You know what I mean? Time mm-hmm. and time again. Yeah, man, for sure, for sure. Um, all right, man. So like, um, let me see. Uh, I know you you you've done work uh, you've done work with Southside Hoodlum. Oh yeah yeah from, yeah for sure yeah from San Antonio. I didn't even say Hoodlum. Hoodlum's a he, he a goat in my eyes too. He's one <laughs> of the goats, man. That's my little brother. I love that fool. Yeah man yeah man. No, he's really he's really taking over man. And and you know it's it's like you know he's he's really putting kind of like San Antonio on the map. Mm-hmm. I feel for sure like. for sure. I feel like he's the face of San Antonio right now as far as rap goes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How long have you two known each other? Since 2015, bro. I met bro outside of a show in okay. San Antonio. For, shout out my brother Bamsworth Belly. He crazy. He's about to come out. He's one of the dopest MCs, mm-hmm. producers, and he's go crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a different level completely. But um, we outside of his show. And me and Hoodlum was just out there, and bro was smoking, and, and we just chopped it up. I didn't even know he was a rapper. He didn't know I was a rapper. And then I remember I was one deep in a Rockets jersey, and we just <laughs> went inside, and we and we just all grew a, a relationship, me, him, and Bam. And then through time, you know, he, I brought him to Houston. He did a show with me. Like, you feel me? Like, just showing love, and mm-hmm. he shows it back most definitely. Was he, like, was he always, like, because that, 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 like, the voice that he uses, was he always on that? Man, he, oh, always, he like kind of switch it up. Nah, I feel like he was always heading that way. He just had to find it. He found his pocket. Like yeah. a lot of, right? Once you find your pocket, like you know, like you can't. It's like defining it because you really don't know. As an artist, we're growing, evolving. Like any humans, you feel me? Like you find your niche at what works for you. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to do. He's been rolling with it, running it up. And yeah, man, uh, I remember when he dropped that. That Lord knows, oh, man, yeah. that yeah. Whole was too. Oh, was crazy, yeah. man. Nah, he's crazy with it, bro. Yeah, I don't think he even had any features on there. I was on there. Baby Gas was on there too. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I was oh, on shit. Uh, the Bubbly record. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Um, shout out Baby Gas. He's from the Bay, man. He's a mm-hmm. homie too. Uh. Go crazy, yeah. Now yeah. I don't even know, yeah. Hulum really don't need features though. His shit jamming. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know y'all did. Y'all, y'all came together on that. That put your hood up. Mm-hmm. Uh, another banger. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Because that record was so nonchalant. We recorded it at his crib in San Antonio, and like we was watching a movie. And I go over there and rap. And then shout out to homie Postman. He recorded it. Mm-hmm. I'll go over there, rap like a few lines, and then he's like watching TV, smoking. He'll go over there, rap. You feel me? Like we're just, but it was so nonchalant. But then when then when Post put it together the way he did, yeah. it just made that shit stand out. It was crazy. Came bro. together. Yeah, I love that record, man. That was a sleeper. Like I didn't think, I didn't expect it to do that. I was like, yeah, this shit. But I got another yeah. one on this Body of God volume too. Yeah, it's topping that shit for sure. Oh yeah, with Hoodlum. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go. For sure. Yeah, that man. Let's go. Crazy. I don't even really know, like, like besides him, like you know, rappers out of San Antonio like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I, I know like the older one. Like I know King Kylie was a rapper out of that time. Mm-hmm. He was kind of like you know he put on a lot out there. Um, Bamsworth, like I said, I remember my homie Worldwide from out there. I used to tap in with San Antonio though. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. um, off the top, shout out my boy Fast Money Knots too, man. He a real one from San Antonio. Uh, yeah, but like as far as like the face of it right now, I feel like Hoodlum got that on lock for yeah. sure. No, no, I agree. Oh, yeah. I agree. And uh, yeah, that song he did with Maxo. Uh, yeah, man, that, that that one was nice too, man. Yep, shout Maxo, out Maxo. Yeah, shout out Maxo. Yeah, he's been doing his thing too. I know he's got a tour coming up. Uh, uh, Maxo Cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, you pulling up? Man, I got to man. Maxo, that's the homie too, man. He showed us a lot of love early on too. So yeah. every time we see each other, it's love. You feel me? We both busy doing our thing, and I, you know, I, every time I, I definitely give him his flowers. Every time I see him, mm-hmm. and uh, he know he got a lot of mutual love and respect for me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, what what are you listening to these days, like like on the regular? Man, usually I listen to a lot of oldies music, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, Nipsey, I listen to a lot of Pac. Um, what have I been listening to lately? To be honest, that's really about it, Anything man. Anything besides uh, hip-hop? Yeah, oldies, like oldies, oldies, soul music. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I love soul music, man. That's usually my go-to. I really don't... I try not to listen to too, too much hip-hop, you know what I mean? Just because mm-hmm. of the same old stigma. Like, I don't want to sound like anybody or get mm-hmm. too dive too deep into somebody. Um, but yeah, for sure, all these man, I love all these hip hop. I love, uh, I fuck with country, like I fuck with all kind of music. You feel me? But, oh, okay. Um, for sure, though, for sure, like uh, oh, all these, all these, like yeah. Sonny Osuna. You feel me? Sam Cooke, Jackie Wilson. You know the list yeah. goes on. That yeah, type of a change music. is coming. Yeah, that's my shit, bro. Yeah. That's my favorite singer <laughs> of all time. Sam Cooke. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. What What's that one song? Like, 
Man, he like he, he started talking about like subjects in school. Like, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know much about his. There you story. go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's my uh, shit. Yeah, that's some shit, right? Nah, Sam Cooke's a goat, bro. Come yeah. Um, have you ever considered tapping into a different genre of music besides rap? Um, nah, not really, man. The only time that we ever really kind of did do that was with the Delegato, like the Delegato feature we did with Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, he's a reggaeton icon, bro. He's mm -hmm. one of the coolest motherfuckers I ever met. That's why whenever I see folks with, like, these fraud-ass egos, like, they become this part. I'm like, bro, I'm just, <laughs> I was just with a worldwide star. He don't act nothing like that, right. bro. Um, it's just it's just funny to me at this point. But um, now nah, that we had to do it in Spanish, and I'm not very fluent in Spanish. You feel oh, me? Okay. Like, I understand it here and there. I could speak a little bit, but mm -hmm. I'm not. Over like you know what I mean I'm not I can't rap in it so yeah. shout out my boy FIFA in LA we sat there and we had to do the record I mean cause shit we had it's Jack Daniels and Delgado we got to do that damn I ain't heard that one oh it's wild bro it's crazy it. it so who he wrote the verse for you or nah I, I, we wrote it like me okay. and my boy FIFA like we wrote it I'm like yo I would say that. okay how do I do this and say this it was English <laughs> yeah. and Spanish though you feel me but yeah. FIFA definitely you know helped me help me with it you know what I mean he yeah. me. he's like you gotta sound right because if you don't sound right they gonna be on your head so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but man, nah, not like, really, man. I'm straight hip hop. I'm straight hip hop. Yeah. And I can't sing for shit. If I can sing, I'd be a singer. <laughs> <laughs> so that song was like more reggaeton? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Hey, man, that's like, like I don't really listen to it like that, but I know a lot of people do, man. Like, you know, because damn near half the, half the world speaks Spanish. Bro, that's the biggest thing. I'm telling you. Like, reggaeton, that's so huge, bro. Yeah. Like, they make it. But I will say this. Like, I was like, Fuck rap whenever I was doing them videos because I was like, dog, the way they treat you and yeah. the bread. And then I'm like, they treat you like a star in that bed. We was in the middle of the video, uh, like homegirl, like holding the fan up to Where me. Where was this like, at? This was in, we shot it in Houston. Houston. Oh, yeah. but just that, that whole just that, that culture. Scene, you feel me? Like that's how they handle their stars. It ain't yeah. like, homie, pull up with some guns and we finna shoot them. Like, <laughs> nah, bro. It, was, it just felt like the way an artist probably should feel. That's nice, man. That's nice. So, so just stri stri strictly hip hop. You don't see so, yourself doing any, like, Fucking with I it. mean, I would be open to it, but like, um, definitely hip hop though. Hip hop is my home. Yeah, yeah man. Like, like, and same here, man. Like, I don't really speak. Like, I'm like, I'm. You know, I come from a Mexican background. Yeah. Uh, both of my parents speak Spanish, but they didn't really, they didn't really speak speak it to us growing up. Right. And you know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of us get flack for that. You feel me? Like. <laughs> yeah, bro. Because the end of the day, gotta understand, we Mexican American. You feel me? Yeah. Like it, it, the world is evolving and changing. I'm reading a book right now called Brown Not White, and it's about Mexicans uh, migrating into Houston, right? Like the mm -hmm. way it started, all the barrios, like the original barrios. Like it's just hard being us, bro, because we're not, especially from Houston. I think especially from Texas. How did not, that? Like, how did you say you were reading a book? How did how did that come about? Like Mexicans into oh, like man, just honestly, the migrating from coming over and then yeah. Coming into Houston was like in the early twenties and thirties, and like it's uh -huh. crazy. They're like who the first Barrios was. Like Second War was the first mm -hmm. majority, and then you had uh, Denver Harbor in the East Side. Then you had Magnolia Park. You know what I mean? Shout out Magnolia. Then mm -hmm. you had um, the Heights. Like so, it was just showing about like but on the years of how fastly, how much we're gaining. You know what I wow. mean? Because they didn't even have like churches for us at the mm -hmm. end of the day. That's why. You have a lot of like the older Mexi like Latino Mexican ladies, and they have like almost their home looks like churches because they would like praise. That's where they home. would. Yeah, it's wild, bro. It's just wow. what's the book it. called? It's called Brown Not White. Brown Not White. I'm gonna have to check that yeah, one. It's out. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So, but as as you were saying, like, uh, you know, with the with the whole, you know, what I'm saying like Mexican, you know, the people, you know, getting flack for not. Yeah, 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 Spanish. bro. It's like, man, this shit is evolving. Like, we have to, we just not good enough for nobody. You feel <laughs> me? That's why I feel like, that's why I feel like for us, honestly, from especially from Texas, you know, some people in Cali everywhere too. You feel me? But like, the low rider, like Chicano, like we got to dig into that because that's our history that we just kind of overlook. Mm -hmm. So versus it being like, um, oh, we're all from, we're not from. Like at the end of the day, our some of our like my grandparents, you know, what I mean, they grew up here. You feel mm -hmm. me? But like they really grew up on like the doo wop and the old schools and the Stacey right. Adams and like. I feel like that's things that we got to dig into because that's part of our culture. You feel me? Do you feel like we should like take an effort like to in learning in learning Spanish? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. it's always good to learn. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like it's always good to learn. And once you stop learning, you stop living. I truly believe that. But I, I wouldn't say like don't don't feel don't be down on yourself because you don't know it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's always a chance to learn, and like nope, that'll make nobody better or not. You feel me? So that's like. That's just a you. stigma that people come up with. But in all honesty, bro, it's not our fault whether we grew up with it or not. You feel me? Like, yeah. we didn't, you know, that's just something that we, but you can't be open to learning it, though. For sure, for sure. You say that that, that, I, uh, you, that you read. Like, what, what else What else are you into, you know? I read, like, man, I like, I like um, 
you know, kind of perspective books. Like, I like Power Now is a good book. Um, I would suggest everybody go read The Four Agreements. That's a crazy book to read. Okay. Um, what else? Mastery of Love is good. Of course, like, books like Alchemist, you know. Um, damn, there was one called um, Contagious. That one's dope. Nip mm-hmm. had put that list out. Just, um, you know, the uh, what was it, though? Empowering the Mind of a Man. I can't get the title right, but... I read, I read a lot. I try to read yeah. these two books a month, though. You know what I mean? Two least, books a month. Yeah, try. That's my goal. That's dope. That's dope, man. Um, and I, I want to, I want to get back like to the, cause I wanted to ask you like, cause, because I don't know, I don't know if you heard of, uh, you know, what's going on with uh, Joe Rogan. With yeah, 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 yeah. I seen a little bit of it. That's yeah, wild. <laughs> yeah. With with him, you know, they, them uh, having a video of him, you know, like a compilation of him using the N word. Yeah, that's wild. And I thought about that, and I was like, man, you know, a lot of a lot of Mexicans use the N word, you know, and they True. use it, yep. you know, in their music. Yeah. Uh, you know, how, how do you feel about that? Like, sh- like, is it okay for Mexicans to use the N word? I don't believe. So. I mean, not not. I, I, like I'll say like this, bro. Some Mexicans, I understand. Like we, grew, you grew up not thinking anything was wrong with it. You feel me? And like, I was one of them. You know, what I mean, like everybody. You feel me? You grow up and we think nothing's wrong with it because everybody. We got black homeboys. You know what I mean? We got yeah. it's like I grew up with grew Mexican up and blacks. Yeah. So it's different from like I would say like a Cali, where it's like kind of still segregated in a sense. Oh, really? Yeah. Not like crazy, but if you like, poli- it's still gonna be politics out there. It's L.A. You feel me? And yeah. all these places, but. Here is like, like I think Walker has said that about Peso when they were like on his head, like you let that Mexican use that. And he's like, bro, I'm from Texas where the Mexicans is the, you know what I mean? Saying like, that's what we are. Like we what, like. What are you talking about? Sauce so Walker was talking about Peso, like because mm-hmm. I guess they were on giving him, giving him shit. Cause oh, for the hardest essay ever. Nah, yeah, because he was not nah, because Peso said, you know what I mean? Peso oh, because he was N-word. using the N word, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I mean, to each his own, bro. Like however you get it, you mm-hmm. get it how you live. You feel me? But to me, I gonna lie. GT is the one who put me on that when I was young. He's like, "Yo, take that out your music." Just really, yeah, bro. Yeah, he doesn't use the N word. I've noticed that. Yeah, bro. I mean, and and also like I think Will Smith has said that about his grandmother. He was like, "You more intelligent than to just use that word." So I think if you do your research on it, it's definitely not ours to use. So mm-hmm. kind of give that respect. You feel me? But yeah. I mean. Some people, that's the way they move. They move how they want, you know what I mean? Yeah, I stand man. on my own. Yeah, because like you said, like we, you know, in Houston, I don't know how it is, you know, outside of Houston. Uh, I, don't, cause I know you mentioned Cali, but like in Houston, like we grew up, you know, with, with, with black people. Like, right. you know, often segre- segregated from white people. Like, you right, know, right, we, right, we grew up sure. together. And we use that word, like, uh, just as like another synonym for homie type yeah, shit. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't use it with no, we never use it with malice in it, but. Yeah. I just think as time, like, I've definitely grown to, like, taking that out of my vocabulary. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. Doing my best with it. You That's feel something me? I'm trying to I'm trying to learn how to do because, oh, you know, yeah. it's... It's just a mind thing, bro. I always yeah. think before you speak, you feel me? And, like, just because, you know, uh, it's a sensitive... T- it's, and, you know, we're in a PC, like, culture now. Right. So it's not like... We're not, like, back in the gap. We were just, it's like a PC culture. You can get canceled for anything. Yeah. You feel me? Like, so... It's just avoiding, you know what I mean? Stay out of your own, stay out of your own way. I think Big Pun said something about that, like cause, you know, Fat cause, Joe, Fat Joe, right, 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 Fat Joe, like because he w- he would use it casually, and and they and got they on. asked him, yeah, they asked him, yeah, yeah. What did I forgot how I forgot how that went, but uh, I think basically he was just saying like you know it's just like, no, like, I am that. He was like, that's what I am that. You like, know, you feel me? You like identify so. like. Yeah, Sometimes more than black people with the with yeah. the with the culture. Yeah, it's it's just you know, I mean, shout out Fat Joe. But yeah, nah, I mean, mm-hmm. it's just a thing. But it's definitely a sensitive topic. You feel me? You can't really. If somebody's yeah. like, nah, why well, I'ma just? I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Nah, I don't say it personally. I don't. I don't put it in my music. So I just, you know, I keep that shit off. Uh, no, 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 for sure, for sure, man, for sure. All right, now and. uh let me see. Let's. I wanna. I wanna ask you about your your you know your upbringing and 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 you know your story pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So like. So where, where are you from? I'm from Southeast Meadowbrook, from Houston. Okay. So, yeah. Born, born, and raised. born and raised. Born and raised. Born and raised. raised. Hell yeah. And uh, you're Mexican American. What What was your upbringing like? Man, we you know what I mean middle class, lower middle class. I mean, but we felt like you know we never knew. We never knew, you know what I mean, where we were. We never mm-hmm. knew. You never really know, you know what I mean. And I, I had, I had, you know, I, mean, I had two dope ass parents. You know what I mean, like Papa, a real one. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was seventeen when he had his first kid, and he stood there like a man and handled his business. But yeah, bro, we grew up right there in the hood. The whole family right there. Um, my grandparents down the street. You know what I mean. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of homeboys. Um, 
all my cousins, you know, we we saw we saw everything. I think I think we saw a little bit of everything. Like mm-hmm. you saw what life could be. You saw in you saw what examples of what you wanted to be. You saw examples of what you didn't want to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so just try to take away everything that you could from all that. You feel me? Like, cause like I got older cousins and you know that is like, yo, we did enough time for you. You know what I mean? You ain't got to go in there. You just saw what we had to go through. So mm-hmm. it's like if you repeating that cycle, that's on you solely on you. You you very conscious of your decisions. But um, yeah, man, we seen both, man. We seen people go to college. We seen people go to prison. You feel yeah. me? So and okay, so around what age did you start getting into into music? I think like man, honestly, like elementary. Okay. Um, I loved hip hop, man. Early I just on, loved, yeah, I loved rap. I I loved, man, I loved everything about it. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. style, um, like shit. Fifty Cent was like one of my favorites. You know what I mean? Um. I just loved it, bro. I loved the demeanor of it. And my dad loved hip hop. My dad was on hip hop when it first came out. You know what I mean? My dad picked up my mom with an NWA tape in the car. <laughs> Feel me on their first date. So, mm-hmm. like, we've been part of hip hop. So, my dad really was one who instilled, like, hip hop and music in me. Mm-hmm. But um, my love for it, that's something that's up to you solely. You know, you got to decide. Like, I really loved it. And I, um, I was freestyling in elementary. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It wasn't like nothing, nothing new. W- when did you start, like, Writing and creating music of, of your own, I say like maybe the end of the seventh grade, maybe something mm-hmm. like around there. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't really like kind of consistently record until like ninth grade. I would like uh, be recording, skip school, go record, mm-hmm. um, skip school. To- <laughs> yeah, I was like a motherfucker. Yeah. I was gone recording all day. But yeah, no, nah, I didn't really. And seriously, it didn't really get serious till like 2014, 2000, Yeah, for sure. Like mm-hmm. it was all right. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah, and okay, 2014. How old are you right now? I'm 27. 27. Okay, yeah. still very, very young, for sure. Um, and what, like, what were you, like, what else were you into, like, in high school? Like, did you do any sports or I anything? Football. Okay. Um, I played football. I played football. I was on a basketball team for, like, two games, mm-hmm. and then I quit, <laughs> but I boxed for a long time. So I boxed from, well, not too long. I boxed from the time I was, like, well, like, 12 to, like, 18, something like that. Okay. Uh, about to be 19, I believe, or something. I can't, yeah, about to be 19. I'm sorry. Um. But boxing was, like, my main priority in high school. You feel me? Like, I, mm. I graduated early to go to the um, the Olympic trial reloads okay. in 2012 in Colorado. Uh, but, yeah, boxing, for sure, was, like, my main thing. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Like, music was kind of, like, my mistress. You feel me? And then I fell in love with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so, um, and you say you, you tried to go, you, you tried for the the Olympics, yeah, we tried. It was a it was a opening at 108, 108 pounds. I fought at like mm-hmm. 114. So we went down. Shout out my coach Aaron, man. That's that's the, man. That's the homie, homie, man. He's a real one. Um, took me on my first flight. We went out there. You know what I mean? We made it to like the the, the quarters or the semifinals. Some one of the mm-hmm. semis. I'm sorry, we made it to the semis. You know what I mean? We had a, a level one tiebreaker, but shit. You yeah. know, my name wasn't really known like that, so we let them. You know what I mean? We left them mark on. Uh, we left them mark for sure. How many fights like? Did did you have like uh, amateurs? Yeah. I didn't have that many, honestly. I probably had like maybe thirty fights, thirty five fights, something like that. Okay. But I went open at like sec. You know, there's like levels, so you can go like all comers and then novice and then open. I went open like my six. So open means like you can fight somebody with ten fights or more. Mm-hmm. So ten fights or a hundred fights. Mm-hmm. I went open. I think on my fifth fight. Mm. Yeah, yeah. My you fifth you fight. were you were going up against. I, would, I think my sixth fight, I fought somebody who had like 183 fights or some crazy wow. shit. Yeah, but I mean, it didn't really. That experience. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it was just something like, all right, why are we going to waste time? Let's just jump in there with the, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. with the Sharks. And we figured it out. Yeah, yeah. What gym did you train out of? Um, I started off at um, GPBA with Kenny Weldon, uh, Galena Park Boxing Academy. Okay. Kenny Weldon's Bumblebee? Legend. Bumblebee, yep. yeah. The, yeah. He's a legendary trainer. Um, after that, where did we go? We had left there. We started training at Sea King with my boy uh, Chucho Renteria. He was a dope ass coach, man. Yeah. Gilbert, 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 not Gilbert. Gilbert's yeah. my little Shout homie, bro. Gilbert. I've been knowing Gilbert since he was little. That's the homie, yeah. homie, man. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. He was a little fast, motherfucker, boy. Yeah, we used to spar. Me for and real? Gilbert. Yeah, I used to box. Yeah, growing yeah. up. For real? Yeah. Did you have any fights? Uh, yeah. What was that? How, did you have any fights? Yeah, man. I had like around, uh, like around. I mean, I forget the exact amount. Probably like around sixty to eighty. That's a good amount. Yeah. When'd you yeah. stop? Why'd you stop? Man, I was a troublemaker in school, man. Yeah. Started uh, you what know. What way did you fight at? Man, it's a good question, bro. Uh, where's that? Where's that trophy at, Jacob? Let me see if it has the weight on there. That was a, my last, my last event. It was at this uh, tournament called Horn. I know the Horn tournament. The yeah. Houston Open Ring National. Yeah, that was my last yeah. fight. Uh, in what year? Uh, Does it have like a weight on there? I don't know. I don't think those have any weights. Let me see. 
I had I got that same trophy. They just give them out of gold. Yeah, it's so always give them out a, a golden gloves. Yeah, man, shit like ten fucking eleven, almost eleven years ago. Yeah, man, it was, it was a while back. Uh, my last fight, I think, was the end of two thousand twelve, and I got hit going to the Golden Gloves in two thousand thirteen. I got hit by a car a truck going across the street. Shit. Yeah, but Gilbert was a bad dude. I, Marshall Sanchez bro, was the homie. Bro, was that was your brother fighting at that tournament? Yo. I remember that. I was there. That's crazy, I bro. I was there. That's crazy. You're, I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Like, it was at the Fighter Nation. It was a, I was the east side. That was, I was there. Yeah, That's bro. That's when you got That was, that was got you. Hit. That was me, bro. No. Because your, your brother was your brother was uh, in the ring. Yep. I, and he was like, no, nah, what happened? Like, he was like, he like, it was, it was it was a whole commotion, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, they, um, I was late. I had his headgear. Bro, that is fucking crazy, that's bro. That's crazy, bro. That's that what, is that's crazy, my nigga. Nah, yeah. that's crazy, bro. <laughs> that you really, yeah, nah, bro. That's that was me. That was mm-hmm. me. I got an accident. It was right outside. I was I was at the I was fighting the one fourteen open to go to state that mm-hmm. year. Um, and I, I mean, there were the homies that were fighting. I mean, you know when you box, you know them. Regardless of the homies, it was Josue Morales and uh, Marshall Sanchez. I think yeah, that's who Marshall was in my was in my division that year. Marshall was a homie. We trained for, together for a long time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was me, bro. And that's when I yeah. like, I just Marshall and his he had an older brother too, right? Nico, Nico. yeah, Nico, yeah. my boy too, man. Shout yeah. out Nico, man. The boys, yeah. Bro. Hey, Mar- them boys are cold, man. Marshall put me on a lot of game, bro. We used yeah. to go at it. Me and Marshall we have wars. <laughs> we used to go at it, bro. That's my bro, though. though. Like, yeah. we get out the ring and it was just all love. You know how it is. But mm-hmm. um, Gibbert was a little bad motherfucker too, man. He was a little <laughs> fast dude. You know Rudy Silva, Rudy, Rudy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name rings bell. Oh, you the trainer. Yeah, not yeah. his son, bro. His, his son. son, yeah. Oh, that boy bad. Mm-hmm. I remember watching him when he was little, like three, four, five. Bro, yeah. he just turned pro. I think he's like three, four, and on. He's now, got it, man. He was a bad motherfucker, man. Yeah, I, I think because uh, I know Rudy used to work with a uh, Marlene, Marlene yep, Sparza. Yeah, yep, yep, she's you know with Golden Boy. Yeah, Marlene went crazy, man. What she's accomplished is, is wild, bro. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that boxing, you know, come from a boxing world, so. Mm-hmm. Boxing was my love. You know what I mean? I fell in love with it because at first I didn't really fuck with it. I ain't going to lie. Like, I thought I was going to be a fucking football player. I realized really? I wasn't growing no more. <laughs> and I just was like, uh, I was like, shit, you know, I can do this. And yeah. I started, I just set my mind to it. And that's when I really started, you know, going to tournaments, taking, the, you know, the mm-hmm. Saturday shows. And my, my coach, Aaron, would take me everywhere. I don't remember Aaron. He was a tatted up Mexican dude with all hair always slicked back. If I seen him, I'd probably recognize yeah, Because how old are you? I am 24. See, so you were about three, year, three years younger, so. Yeah. Yeah, you was yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Because Aaron man. already left amateurs. He w- he started just training pros. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So he kind of. I was the last amateur. I think he trained. Oh, sure. okay. Yeah, okay. he was like he ain't fucking with it no more. Do you still like attend like uh, local uh, uh, smokers? Nah, for local I ne- fights. I need to, bro. I yeah. ain't gonna lie. Like I love, I love that shit, man. I the, the ner- yeah. nobody understands that nervous nervousness before a fight. The butterflies. That's the worst <laughs> feeling. I'll be like, that shit is the worst. But I'm, once that once that first punch goes, yeah, that's it's it. Gone. That's it. Oh, oh once that first. Gone. Bro, that's what my brother, like, you know, because I would always say, damn, I'm feeling. My brother, like, man, you ain't nothing to do except for what you practice. Yeah. You feel me? So if you bullshit it in practice, it's going to show. Yeah, you're going you gonna to bullshit in this fight. But, like, um, nah, man, I loved it, bro. The fighting was cool, bro. I, just, I think it gave me a lot of character. You feel yeah. me? Like, for real. Do you still, like, work out? Like, I still train. I still, hey. you know, I don't train like all day. I do like two, three days out the week. My brother got his, like, mm-hmm. a gym set. My brother went pro. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he got a gym set up in his back. So I go out there. You know what I mean? Just, I'm I'm actually at my lowest weight I've been since like a mm. few years. I like I was I went up to like 170. I'm at like 140 right Damn. now. Yeah. Okay, so you really kind of like just got got on it like in terms of like fitness and shit. Yeah, bro. Just yeah. trying to make healthier choices. You feel me? But because yeah. you know in this life, in music, you know you can have a lot of temptation and your ego could take over. You start drinking a lot, lot or yeah. whatever it is that some people do. Some people be on the pills. And that shit could take you over. You feel yeah. me? You really got to check yourself. You know, have that balance. You got to, bro. Yeah. So, do do, do you smoke or drink? Uh, uh, I drink. Uh, I drink like casually. You feel me? Like I, mm-hmm. I was at one point. I would drink a lot, and I had to slow it down. Like I had to slow it down to where, um, I control it. It don't control me. Okay. And I feel like a lot of people don't even know when they having them issues, or then they never it turns into a problem because mm-hmm. it's like, nah, I'm just you know, it ain't nothing. But if you feel like, damn, every time I go eat, I got to drink. Same every- thing with weed, bro. Like. Like there's so, people that 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 would swear like they're not they're not addicted to it. Oh, bro! But they, well, you know, like try you know try to get off of it, man. And they're, it's, they're, it's, it's hard a necessity for them. You feel me? And like everybody has their vice, but like right. it just sucks when it's like um, 
so needed. It's just like, oh, I can't. Like, I feel like you in a bad mood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're not even looking at nothing good in life until that you hit that blunt or you get that drink. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, but I just had to really, I'm real self-aware. You feel me? So I had to really check myself because if not, ain't nobody else. You know what I mean? Nobody yeah. else could check you except for you in a real sense. They could tell you something, but it's up to you to change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been trying to get off coffee, man. But oh, I'm a caffeine <laughs> addict, though. I admit that, bro. Yeah. Oh, I need the caffeine. I need it, yeah. bro. Oh, man. When I right before I work out or anything. Man, try going without it for a week. Oh, man. How'd you have headaches that fucking withdrawals, like bro. Like, it's real. <laughs> nah, my grandma told me that. Yeah, bro. I can't. I, I ain't. I'm gonna try though. I, yeah. I'm sure I've done but it's it like good. That. I think it is, there are some benefits to it. It's just I got fucking. Uh, I don't know, it's called acid reflux where the shit comes up. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it's, it's not good. So um, I've been on that tea. Been oh, drinking yeah, tea yeah, for sure. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, bro. Yeah, I've been on like green juices, tea, bro. Um, all kind of shit, man. I'm just trying to keep myself. Are right. you are you much of a cook? Hell no. Nah. Um, nah, not at all, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm a out. I'm gonna eat outer. I'm gonna go outside and eat. Okay, uh, I ain't cooking shit. <laughs> Um, but you know, I just, I just, I find healthier choices anywhere I try to go. You yeah. Know? If I, I don't matter where I'm at, let me try to get a salad instead of, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Same here, bro. Like, I, I don't know how to cook, but I want to at least learn how to, the, the barbecue. Right, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to get that to. down. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, mm-hmm. bro. That's my pops. I let my pops handle that. But yeah, after this Super Bowl Sunday, you know it's going down today. Yeah. What, what are, what, where, what are your, like, your go-tos, like, you know, as far as, like, places to eat? Man, I love steakhouses, bro. Um, like if I'm just gonna go out on mm-hmm. some shit, I like um Roof Chris is fire. I really fuck with the Roof Chris. I got a shout out to Hood, shout out Maria Readers, man. That's like my that's my little like that's my little uh base right there. I be yeah. I be chilling right there. Like I think I seen one of the homies, like in you know, a homie, he was a fan, he's a homie though now. He's like if y'all ever want to see Doe, man, just pull up the real readers <laughs> in the southeast. It's like, yo, know I mean? little hideout. I yeah. be in that hoe, man. Shout out to Alex and my boy Ramon. They the owners. They two. What kind of food? Uh, it's Tex Mex, but okay. it's Latino owners. You feel me? They with the Milby, so I gotta support them. Um, I like I like steakhouses and shit like that, man. I like seafood. Mm-hmm. But yeah, nah, Italian for sure. It's a play called Mama Mia's off Spencer. That shit Italian, crazy. yeah, Sheesh. yeah, yeah. Already, man. Already, and 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 back to the boxing, man. Like, um. Do you still keep up like with like big fights? Oh yeah, man, I love I love watching boxing, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, Did you catch that uh, uh, the Keith Thurman the other? The other yeah, day? he's fighting my boy, man. Well, I ain't my boy, but we know oh, each Mario. other. Mario, yeah, bro, I wanted him to win though. I ain't gonna. Lie. I got oh, he's from San Antonio. That's he's why from San Antonio. Okay. So hoodlum, <laughs> it's all linked up in that small. He, I get it. He was jamming to put your hood up before the the fight. He had put oh. it on his story. Yeah, so he showed me some love. So of course I got to ride with bro, mm-hmm. and he's Latino from Texas. Yeah, uh, it was wild. Like I remember I went to. Um, I was in L.A. when he fought Gervonta. Yeah. And I was at my boy Khan's house. And, like, Khan and his people, Khan's for sure from Baltimore. That's where the tank's from. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, the only Latino. And I'm trying to go hard for, bro. He did his thing, though, man. Yeah. You know, he was but, taking the tune. Like, he, yeah, was, he, was, he was giving it. But tank, That man. type of power, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, man, for sure. But yeah, I keep up with all the fights, bro. I yeah. keep up with all the fights. Who's, who's your, uh, your pound for pound? My pound for pound, bro? Uh, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson? My, fa- my best, my gr- favorite ever. Mike Tyson, Manny Pacquiao. Um, of course, you know you got to throw Floyd in there in a sense, but yeah. to me, my that's personal the goat. taste. That's mine. Oh, right now, he's there. the yeah. goat. Now, I mean, Floyd's yeah. the goat, bro, hands down. But like, you got people like uh, you know Roberto Duran. You got people like right. you know, Sugar. Can't that's forget so many people. That was great. What was like your style of boxing? Were you like you think like a brawler type, a boxer? I was more like a boxer puncher. Like okay. I would, I could box, but show. But like, I feel like the only thing my downfall in boxing. I, I got like a high head So as soon as somebody hit me I'll be like It's a fight now You know what I mean I was yeah. on my game plans Out the window It's a fight <laughs> But uh, yeah. um, As I got older I feel like I would have mastered that I feel like if I would have Kept going I would have mastered My my emotions You know I was you right. young And you just full of emo- Testosterone And like right. you just ready To go crazy But um, yeah I, 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 I could bang though I, really, I for sure could bang mm-hmm. You know what I mean I could bang uh, I could box And I could bang Right handed or left handed I'm right handed Right but hand. my left hand is my power hand. Like it's weird. Like I, my left hook, that was like my. That was like. Uh, and you right, like do you you right with right your hand. right hand? Yeah, but I shoot a basketball with my left hand and I punch hard with my left hand. That's it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Bro. Well, Oscar was right hand. Oscar De La Hoya, but his left hand was crazy. That he was, was just dropping people with the left hook. That was me. That was my sleeper. I ain't gonna lie. My yeah. left, my left hook is my sleeper, bro. Mm-hmm. Like for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, what about what about Jake Paul, man? How how you feeling about this uh, the celebrity boxing going on? <laughs> man, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I don't know, bro. I just think it's like, I, 
Man, we live in a weird world, bro. That's one thing I just, we live in a real weird weird world. Like, get your money. I ain't never going to knock no man getting money. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or, and if, obviously, he's dedicated. He, he works out to it. But to me, it's just like you disrespecting, like, the years on years on years of people, yeah. like, that put in this work and never even got to that point. You feel me? So, yeah, I think it's like a, it, it's a money game, bro. We live in a world where money is, cash is king, bro. So, yeah. if you're bringing him. Whatever it is, I don't know. That's the social media era, man. It's, it's like social media, yeah. bro. The world is is Instagram, bro. Yeah. So it's like, like I think they said that and paid in full. Like back then, you actually had to be somebody. You feel me to act like now? You just gotta look like it, play the part, yeah. get some views, some likes, got some money in your pocket. Like, nah, it's not. I don't know. Yeah, and that's and then you know, like I kind of like it's kind of like related to rapping that, like you know, talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, do people really care about? Bars and, and lyricism no. the same way they used no. to do back in the day. It's no, like it's nowadays it's like all melodies. It's like the beat, bro. Trap, like the tra- beat, right? Yeah, bro. It's more sing singer rappers than it is. And like, mm-hmm. um, I just heard some crazy news, and this is a game for all the artists. They're like, when you making music, like my music, I feel like don't sound like anything. I don't think nobody makes. I don't sound. I don't think nobody hears me and like, oh, you sound like I've never got like a repeated. Oh, you sound like this person or that person. I've or like you know, you sound like you, um. For sure, there's gonna be like the Nip and the and the Kendrick and the Cole influence mm-hmm. in there, but it's not like I'm sitting there like I'm gonna sound, I'm gonna pick his same type of beats or I'm picking my beats. You feel me? Like the way I feel. But um, if that song is not sounding the same as something that's like kind of in like it's it's kind of fucking your algorithm up. Mm. So how much music sounds almost exactly the same nowadays? Uh, the majority, bro. The majority, bro. <laughs> so why are they getting the clicks and the likes and the view? It's a weird game, bro. It's a very weird game. You, you bro. never thought about like, man, let me let me just make a few of these kind of songs just so you know, just get the people what they want. Hell no, nah, I no. never. Nah. <laughs> I, like Nip said, bro, I'd rather be at war with the world and at peace with myself than to do some shit that I know ain't me mm-hmm. and get get um, praise for it. That's kind of fraudulent to me. You like that's mm-hmm. real fake to get like oh to put out this either whether it be an image. Even uh-huh. if you like know like okay like if I just keep doing the same music like like I'm gonna stay true to I'm gonna stay true to true to my style of a uh, rap you know mm-hmm. like are you cool with that even if it doesn't go anywhere like you know what I'm saying like on that main like if that's not like what not people mainstream. not right I, I think because I've seen so much success within like independent artists like bro like I'm telling you there's so much money in this game if they mm-hmm. dig it out because I've seen a lot of famous mainstream motherfuckers that ain't got no money mm-hmm. you feel me I done seen a lot of people. And I fuck fame. Give me the funds. I need the money. You feel mm-hmm. me? I don't need all. Y'all can keep the fame. That shit is, is you're looking for outside validation for that. But staying true. To, and it's not just staying true. Of course, I'm going to do things. Uh, they asked me, like, the Delegato shit. I'm going to do that. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, But as far as, like, I'm not going to go. I'm, I, my thing is not even just about the record or the type of music. It's, mm-hmm. like, the image portrayed behind it. Mm-hmm. What you saying on this record. Oh, now, all, everybody's a gangster now. Mm-hmm. Everybody got Glocks and K's and everybody that that's like okay that's cool bro but what else you feel mm-hmm. me like so I just want to be unless like that Kendrick I feel like yeah he made a few but he made his name off you know Section Eighty and mm-hmm. those crazy yeah they're, they're they're different I don't really count them in like the Drakes the because they they got their you know the Coles uh, uh you know I feel See, like that's they, what I want to be I don't want to be like these other cats like I want to yeah. be I need to be in that category you feel me mm-hmm. I want to I, w- I don't want to be with these but other that's what I'm saying like the time to change and, and and what people like is has changed you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying so I just I'm just curious I'm just wondering if, if that's still possible you know um, nah for sure bro I mean I think about it like Cole's still making the same kind of music but 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 that's also what I'm saying like he's because he's got this fan base like right, from, right, right, from right. people that 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 you know we're into that kind of music at that time. I say it is because I see people like Grip from Atlanta that just signed the Shady Records. That's mm-hmm. a super lyricist, rapping, 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 motherfucker. And then you got people like um, Kenny Mason from Atlanta. They can rap his ass off. Uh, my boy Khan. These are all people that make that are going crazy. That are constantly elevating mm-hmm. on their own shit. Like so, it's deeper. It, just, yeah, yeah, bro. It's like it's yeah. like. What is success to you, right? Oh, it's a, it's a, it, and it's about how you measure your success. What's your metric? What do you feel? Okay, if you view like I got ten million views on YouTube, is that your success, or is your success like, bro? I'm making thirty thousand a month off streaming, and I'm making this much. I'm making, you know what I mean? I'm making five hundred racks a year off rap. Is that successful? Because a lot of these artists that are taking these deals, mm-hmm. you owe money as soon as you sign that paper, right? You feel me? This mm-hmm. is a loan. This is not your money. This is a loan. Mm-hmm. So, and if you don't recoup that, bro, your name goes on, 
goodbye. Yeah, and you, you're seeing that a lot. You, you I've know, seen so many things like that, bro. Coming out, you know, and and outing their their record labels like Meek Mill, yep. the Young Boy. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man. It got to be miserable, bro, to be, you can't do what you love. You yeah. feel me? So, and I'm not saying oh, deals are bad because deals can't work for people. Mm-hmm. Deals can't work for certain artists. Facts. But if you not, if that, that steam blows off, bro, mm-hmm. and you still all these people, hundreds of thousands mm-hmm. of dollars, bro, and then they're like, they can't release no music. Yeah, yeah that's got to be, a, that's got to be close to hell. Yeah, I, I like, I think what Russ, uh, Russ, uh, you know, uh, rapper, he, he says like, you know, you want to come like you don't want to just sign. You know, just, you know, after you drop like a little single and it's hot, you don't want to sign. You want to have leverage, right? Coming into a, coming into a deal or, or you know or a record la- major label. Yeah, you know. So yeah, nah, bro. You definitely want to build that leverage so you can go sit down with them and talk to them and be like, look, this is what I want. This is how yeah. I see my turn. And this is what I can bring to the table. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what a plan. You feel me? And that's one thing. Yeah, just gotta grind that shit out. Yeah, so 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 you know you're not really opposed to going. Are you you're not signed right now, right? No, 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 okay. independent, fully independent. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not. I mean, right now I just feel like we've done well, independent. You feel me? Like I've done well, and there's always a constant rise. It's not, I haven't seen a fucking decline. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I've always seen if even if it's a little bit, I'm going up. I'm going up. Not just no. I'm talking about financially. You mm-hmm. feel me? That because that's what matters. Because yeah. <laughs> Instagram likes don't pay the bills. You feel me? So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't seen our, a decline in our team. Shout out my my manager Beehives. He goes crazy for he goes hard for me. He makes sure that we we on top of our shit. Mike C, my boy Esco Joey, we make sure that our shit's staying very you know what I mean tight knit mm-hmm. and growing. But there's all if opportunity you can never knock an opportunity or mm-hmm. close the door on it. You know what I mean being being you know I me mean, small minded in a sense. Yeah. So now I'm always open to any opportunity, but it just has to be the right thing because I've seen so many things go left, and I've seen. You know, peers take bad deals, mm-hmm. and and then they ended up. You know what I mean? They had that two, three years that they were shining. Yeah. And then it, it, what happens? Where are they now? You feel me? Yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, what's what's your writing process like, man? Sometimes I write, sometimes I don't, bro. But usually, like you know, put the beat on. I go shout out Baron Studios. That's where I record all my shit at. Um, Randy, my boy Randy, engine, my main engineer, and. We go in there, man. We play the beats. He'll go mix in the other room, and I'll sit there right there. And if I if I if I do right, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. It got to be the inspiration. Like I heard this a long time ago. Like anytime you feel inspired to do anything, whether it be music, workout, anything, that's a gift from God. So stop whatever seize you're it. doing. Yeah, seize that <laughs> shit. So yeah. I'd be like, man, when I feel that in the studio, it's like magic, bro. It's like, I don't, and that's why another reason why I would say like I can't really force myself. To go make a record that's outside of my inspiration because I mm. feel like I'm disrespecting the art of myself. You feel me? But um, other people are different. But nah, sometimes I don't write. Sometimes if I feel good, I go in that motherfucking. Do you still it. write pen and pad or is it on, I'm the, on phone. the phone with it mm-hmm. or just not? I, I'll maybe put like the first four bars and the rest I'm just uh, punching in. Let's bring really? it back. Yeah, yeah, for sure, mm. for sure, man. I got you. Yeah, man, that, that brown soul, man. You had a lot of samples on there, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Smokey Robinson. Sheesh. And, yeah, man, like, like. Uh, like uh, that's an album. Like, were you able to get those all cleared, or how, man, does, how does that work? The way we looking at it is like, <laughs> hey man, this is off the record. Y'all, <laughs> y'all don't come and get me. Oh, nah, man. I just feel yeah. like if at a certain point, um, we we have like my manager has been like, yo, all right, we kind of got to step away from samples, and I love samples. You feel mm-hmm, me? Because mm-hmm. it got the soul in it. But um, at the end of the day, when it comes to things like sync licensing and these things to get your shit part of a TV show and you know anything like that placements. You don't want them samples because now yeah. you're cutting your bread in half. Like I just, like you know, a lot of people. I've heard so many stories, you know, from bigger artists that they put these humongous samples on their records and they're mm-hmm. cutting seventy percent of that fucking. Yeah, song, you feel me to them. So yeah, yeah. I, I I gotta learn. I gotta I gotta really you know what I mean. But Get I love it that. so much, bro. So that was the idea behind the tape. Shout out Big Tech Johnny. Like, hey yo, we gonna sample all the you know Odie's and then we gonna put a mean bass line yeah. on that bitch and we just had fun I recreated that shit in like two weeks bro no the, brown, the brown show yeah man it was, who, who was on the, the cover that's my god baby that's my baby Emily that's my my sister's daughter your sister's daughter yeah okay yeah okay. nice nice uh, and so do you have any kids no sir no, no sir not that I'm aware of <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, any, any girlfriends Man, nah, nah, <laughs> man. Single as a dollar bill. <laughs> I feel you, man. Nah, man, nah. Just, just, man. It's it's a hard life for any woman to keep up with. You feel me? Or trying mm-hmm. to wrap their mind around. So, I'm just in a growing process of myself too. So I gotta, I'm, I'm defining myself more and more. You feel me? But, yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, man. Like, like when people ask you, like, what you do? 
you know like do you like do you is there any shame like uh you know like you know letting letting them know like i'm a i'm a, I'm a rapper because i know some rappers that do feel that way like man because everybody's a rapper now i'm a hip-hop artist i'll be like <laughs> i'll be like i make six figures a year off hip-hop i'm proud as a motherfucker of that you, you feel me so yeah um nah nah i remember like it's a cra- it's wild like my ex uh you know good 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 people and i remember like i had to go meet her pops you feel me and i mm-hmm. remember like going over there and like he was like you know what you doing i was like shit, i'm a, I'm a hip-hop artist you know what i mean and yeah like, but shit i mean it, i remember that was when i broke that stigma of fear i was like that's what i am you got to accept fully what you are like i'm not like a dude acting you feel me this is me through and through i am hip-hop i'm a hip-hop artist so yeah I'm proud of that shit. You know what I mean? I've worked through a lot of bullshit to, to claim that title. I've been through a lot. You mm-hmm, feel me? For uh, sure. Scars, ups and downs that a lot of people wouldn't make it back from. So I'm very yeah. proud of that. What's your, like your favorite, uh, being an artist and doing music, like, what's what's like your favorite aspect of it all? Like is it the the, the creative process, the uh, like in the studio, uh, performing, like the videos? What's like your favorite aspect of I'm it? I'm not, man. I wish I loved videos more because I know some rappers mm-hmm. will be killing on the videos because they love it. They love the camera. You feel yeah. me? Like, I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. I really love the creating part. I love the business aspect. I mm-hmm. love learning more about the business. And I love shows, bro. Shows, shows. like, you, like, you got to come to our headliner show, bro. It's a mm-hmm. different kind of feeling. It's just amazing, bro. Yeah. Um, just feeling the love and filling the room with love. You know what I mean? Um, giving the love back. Yeah. But yeah, bro, it's like a, I love I love performing. And speaking of which, like do you, do y'all have any shows coming up? We got South by Man and we we was uh we, I know we mapping out an independent tour after. But um Where is that at? Well, South by is in Austin, Texas. Austin. Okay, yeah, okay. Man, you got to come through, bro. Yeah. You can fuck around, get some crazy interviews Hell out there. Yeah. Telling you, bro, you be on the street like, bro, post up. Mm-hmm. You rap, you let a dude come through, you may never know who walking through. I'm telling you, bro. That's that. how I met the dude. You know, Say Cheese? Yeah. I met Sean Cotton Sean, on 6th right? Street, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. I okay. met him that in 2014. Yeah. He said, you look like a rapper. I was like, I am. He's like, rap. <laughs> I swear. I started rapping. Yeah. Does he have a like a photo of his face on his? I don't think I've ever seen Sean him. Sean Cotty, yeah, yeah, man, he, yeah, <laughs> man, that's the homie, bro. He, I, I'm so proud of what he's what he's accomplished, yeah. too, bro. He's just that's that's what we're trying to get to, man. You know, trying to trying oh, to bro, you, real tune TV, you know. Yeah, bro, you yo, you gonna just man, in your mind just mm-hmm. you just keep this shit pushing. You feel me? Like yeah. just keep this shit pushing, dog. It's gonna. It's just you gotta have that blind faith. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. got and it, it'll happen, bro. You already putting it in motion, so you doing more than half the motherfuckers. Eighty percent of this shit is just showing up. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Putting yeah. the work behind it. Yeah, Sean man. Cotton right there, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Me, man. okay, okay. Millionaire, millionaire, my boy Icon now. Damn, that's cold. Hell yeah, just off the media shit. Yeah, bro, go out there and hustle, yeah. bro. I, man, he. Where did, I think I feel like that's where the money's at. Like when it comes to the when it comes to the to the to the hip hop man, it's like behind the scenes, bro. Like the videos, like that's what I want to get to. Not just this, but like the music videos, the, videos. the, the There's engineering. A lot of video in there too, bro. Engin- now, I want to say I, I've talked to engineers. Like, eh, you know, but like shout mm-hmm. out FM. I know that mo- that mo- fool right there. I know. I've heard that name more than once. Hey, he's from the north side. He out here off of uh, Little York. Huh. Um, He's a he's a legendary engineer from Houston. Mm-hmm. He started recording me like in 2012 or some crazy shit. But um, yeah, it's definitely mo- it's money anywhere you dig for it. I believe if you mm-hmm. feel like if you put some belief behind some shit, you're gonna find some currency behind it. You know? well, I feel like, but it's more so than like the like being an artist. You feel me? Because everyone's a rapper, dude. It's like you know. I feel like it's so watered down. Now, I feel like bro, that's the most. Do you feel like that's the most like the industry like that has the most people in it? Rappers. <laughs> mm, probably bro it's kind of a, it's kind of just, but it's like i just i think i posted something the other day and it was like i missed the days where like if you couldn't rap you didn't you feel me yeah because like, everybody truly believes they can be a rapper everybody man i really could because because the, that's the world we live in fuck it i'm just gonna take a video and put it on my instagram and shit mm-hmm. fuck it i can do it like and they don't yeah. take no kind of talent no more bro so it's like yeah but to, but then to go now to see who really is real, bro. Let's go to them ciphers. You feel me? Let's yeah. go with, with real spitters. Yeah. Not with like Instagram. I believe in Papa and the Daddy, the Daddy. I'm talking mm. about real spitters, and then that's how you gain respect. Man, they, they need to they need to bring that to Houston, man. Like just like for like sure. battles. Like, we gonna weave out rat, who the fuck is battles. what. We gonna weave out what is what around this motherfucker. We gonna find out, and we got some spitters, man. Like yeah, we got a few. Man, we got a few, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, aside from the music, man, like what what do you like to do when when you know like like hobby wise, like when you're not doing anything music related? Shit, um, workout, bro. I like spending time with the family now. You feel me? My my boo, my brothers. You feel me? Eating, um, working out is my main thing. Meditating, reading. I mm. really love. You know, I'm on that shit heavy. You meditate heavy, yeah, every day. 
Um, how do you how do you meditate? Like, is, man, I know there's apps out for it. I don't do it with apps. Like, man, I it's a, it's a, you can start off by anything. You can just close your eyes, try to sit it however you feel comfortable for five minutes outside, just breathe in, to breathe out real deep. You feel me? And kind of take your thoughts away. Try to blank your mind out. Cause mm-hmm. see, they say praying is for asking, meditating is for listening. Mm. So yeah, yeah, just listen. Do you yeah. feel like it helps, like with the music? It helps as a human, just balance yeah. out. You feel me? Like you stop taking this shit serious. Like a lot of these dudes like come here with this rah rah <laughs> shit, and they take every day. <laughs> it's just goofy yeah. to me now. Like, and I saw a Nip interview, and he was like, "Can't take this shit serious." Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's can't take it personal. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. then it's so much goofy shit happening, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, ego's a crazy thing. You see a lot of these motherfuckers with these egos, and it's like. Come on, it's bro. Goofy. Kick that shit. Kick that shit out of it. But it's like, I don't take it personal. You know what I mean? You're supposed to feel that way mm-hmm. at one point. I was that young kid before. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 21, 22. Like, I'm fucking everybody. I'm better than everybody. I kill it. Like, you know what I mean? I kill everybody on this shit. And it's yeah. just like, you, you grow up. And it's good to have, I definitel like it's good to have people in your team and around you that that check you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that, that. It just keep you balanced, bro. I mean, and yeah. it also just... um. Keep keeping you, you know, accountable. Keep mm-hmm. be accountable to that shit. Cause if not, you got a bunch of yes men around you, a yep. bunch of motherfuckers who just going, hey, whatever you say is what goes. And nah, bro, that's gonna lead. You'll see where that leads fast. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, bro, you just you got you got to have people people that you that that love you for you and that you know me? you. Yeah. yeah, that don't love you. Just oh, I love him because he be on his rap shit and like nah, bro. If that's if that's the reason, then get the fuck away from me. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like you got to see me first because. Um, you know that's real. That's true love. You feel me? Like real love isn't isn't this shit is fake. And once people and people really make their mind up to believe that this is real, right? Like oh, they at the world no, bro. Like and I heard this saying: they don't love you, they love what you do, mm. and that's a fact. They don't love me, they love what I do. Mm-hmm. You feel me? What I the art that I display, mm-hmm. they love that. They can't love me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And uh, you have to separate that because once you out, oh, everybody loves me. I'm da 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 da. You, you almost have this false sense of believing you're yeah. like at a god level. A god, right? Yes, and we're definitely not. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. We can be the gods of ourselves, masters of ourselves, mm-hmm. but not of others. You feel me? Mm, I got you. Speaking of God, like, are you like, are you religious at all? Spiritual? Or? I'm spiritual. I believe in God mm-hmm. for sure. Um, I don't believe in religion. I'm not a religious person. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I do believe in a higher being. I do believe a creator of all. Some yeah. created, as you feel me. Do you have like? Is there like? Do you have a like a denomination like or? Nah, not man, really. I just I, I just I believe in God. I don't I don't even dig into the religion, bro. Yeah. Honestly, I just anything that's that um, that's man made. I just I have a hard time believing it. I don't trust men. You yeah. feel me? I know you. I know you. You know you say you come from a Mexican American family, and and that's like. You know, growing up, you know that's that's like what they believe, like you know, Christian, right. Catholic. So, so like, was there ever like a transitioning that you know, like, were you kind of like w- w- straight away from that, or? Yeah, man, I remember like being um, shit. I remember like it was like not not too long before the accident. I mm-hmm. was like, I feel like I don't even know. Shit was just not bad, but like you know, seeing shit, people go to jail, seeing. I'm like, man, I remember being like, God ain't real, like tripping on my mom, like y'all believing that shit, God ain't real, like live with God was real, literally to that same old spell, right? Right. And then boom, like a week two later, I got hit by that truck. Mm. I'm like, God, check my ass quick. Yeah, <laughs> I really truly feel like that. Yeah. Um, but now nah, I just think like even my family is starting to wake up to it. Like even my mom's is kind of starting like she's not blinded by a lot of shit. So it's about opening your eyes, bro. And I just we have a thing called conditioned minds. You feel me? We are very conditioned. We believe this because our dad believed in it and it believed that and this believed. You know what I mean? Yeah, we were if we were born under like a you know like a, a Indian or or, or, yeah. or Chinese, like we would probably most chances of us believing in their God are higher. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah bro. So yeah, you, you got to break your, your old. You got to break the old shackles and the old chains. Mm-hmm. Like you feel me? Like so. Uh, I think I said it on the record. I was like, we've been damaged and this is young as that shit a fungus. The food that our parents, the poop that they are, the food that our parents fed us infected our minds and stomachs. Mm. You know what I mean? I pray you outgrow the dungeons and kill the demons among us. Like, yeah, outgrow the dungeons. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's just, it's a different level. This shit gonna go over a lot of heads, but it's mm-hmm. like we were damaged since youth. We been taught this way. You know what a man is. What you know what a woman is. When yeah. we're all just humans, but. Don't let yeah. me go too deep into that. Yeah, I got yeah, I mean, there's a point to that. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. you do have a point to that. Like, you know, you're saying like you know, outgrow in the dungeon because like there is a lot of dogmatism, you know, when it comes to religion, man. And I I try not to, uh, you know, at, but at the same time, like I feel like you shouldn't 
throw the what what's that saying? Throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like there are some gyms, you know. Oh yeah, for sure, and, bro. You know what I mean? It's beauty and everything. It's mm -hmm. beauty and everything. I just you know, and this is just to my own, you know, my mind. I, my, these are my thoughts. They don't have to be anybody else's. You know? mm -hmm. We really could cut the religion part out because they right. say don't don't talk about religion. You feel me? <laughs> oh yeah, teach his own. And speaking of what we shouldn't talk about, <laughs> are you are you into politics at all? Or? No, sir. <laughs> we ain't getting into that one. No, sir. I'm not into no politics. Religions are politics. <laughs> things that they say stay out the way. That's boy. cool. Yeah, that is cool, man. It's cool. Um, what what do you what do you like to watch, man? Like you know, Netflix type shit. Man, I ain't gonna. Lie. I just watch like old '90s movies. I watch Peaky Blinders. I ain't, you have you heard of Peaky Blinders? Mm -hmm. Watch that shit. That Peaky shit go crazy. Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Okay, I like, but my favorite shit is like mobster movies, bro. Mobster oh really? Movies. Oh yeah. Well, give, give me your top three. Man, I gotta go with uh, Goodfellas. Yeah. Casino. And a Bronx Tale. Oh man, some classics. Yeah, they're my top three. Yeah. Shout out to like you know, there's another movie called Mobsters, and you got another one. Um, what's the other mobster movie? I just watched the Meyer Lansker mo movie. You know who Meyer Lansky is? Mm. Meyer Lansker. He was like the he was like a Jew in the mob, but he was like he sat at the Italian table like, and that was with the allowed. Italians. And bro, he was like the accountant. He was like a genius. Like it was mm. wild. You got to watch it though. He was a real. Smart. My, what was the, what's the movie called? Meyer M E Y E R Lansky mm. L A N K. S Y Meyer Lansky Lansky yeah yeah, yeah if I'm just better fuck it I don't know yeah. but yeah yeah it's hard though it's hard yeah man I I, I was like man I like for for a while like at one point where I was just that's all I was into man like mobsters and the the mob and like how that started you bro, know that's so, what I love that like shit the five commissions and what? all that shit I but. studied bro I love that <laughs> shit bro. I swear yeah. to God, I do. And the terminology is just, the, the, you know, the, the words, like, uh, you, like, I feel like that, that you know, you hear people saying it in, in, in their raps. Like, yeah. I remember Biggie would always, you know what I'm saying, like, use references, and I was like, oh, that's where he got, yeah, that's yeah. where he got it from. I mean, in Italian mob, they were like, the shit was wild, you feel me? Yeah. The boys was on some shit. They was running shit, you know? Yeah. But, you, yeah. In New York. Yeah. What? You ever, you ever uh, watch the, the Sopranos? I never watched it, man. I got into it a little bit. Uh-huh. But that's a good um, one. I had a story about New York. I, I caught some shit off my bucket list. I went to Spark Steakhouse. That's where um, John Gotti called the hit on. I think it was the Castellano or one Paul, of the Paul Paul Castellano. Yeah. Or one of the one of the whenever John Gotti came to power, they killed him outside of that restaurant. I went to that restaurant. Right. Spark. Yeah, that was it. Was not that good, but it was fire to be there. But that's know? where it was. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Spark Spark Steakhouse. Yeah, yeah, you look at Yeah, yeah, they got bro. Did you, did you did you watch the like the original John Gotti? Not the one with the uh fucking John Travolta. Yeah, yeah, I heard that one. Was nah, I never strange. watched the original. You gotta catch that one, man. That Ooh. one's dope. It's on Netflix, man. It's it's <laughs> on YouTube, bro. Like the full movie's on YouTube. Yeah. Hey, what time the Super Bowl start? Oh it shit! You started? Oh shit! Hey, <laughs> nah, it's good. It's good. We got about five more minutes. In. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they, they probably yeah they probably just got started. Well, hey man, uh, any last words before we get out of here? Man, just want to say salute to all my brown brothers and sisters. Man, keep this shit going. Don't stop for nothing, man. Feel like you the best. Know that you the shit. Believe in yourself, man. Don't ever stop climbing. This shit is a marathon. Don't stop. Don't stop believing in yourself. This shit is a reality. You feel me? Stay true to yourself. Love your family. Lift your brothers and sisters up. Body your God. Dine the gang. Good, man. Thanks for coming through. Yeah. Thanks for coming through. Snatch a bag, dog. Wrapped up a tune with a squad and a flag, dog. Hanging with the trapper, still chopping down the tan wall. I'm known in the city for my hard work. Look at me, I can show you how I crown work. Rub my wrist till my watch finally drown first. For whatever stop, you'll be in the ground first. Huh. If you don't want it, then get back in line. I don't know how you do dope, but I pay.